A little follow-up for you now. The National September 11th Memorial Museum is facing controversy just weeks before it opens. At issue is how the 9-11 terrorists are described in a video that is about seven minutes long. Critics demand that the film be re-edited now to protect the name of Islam and to distinguish the religion from extremism. Joining me now from the 9-11 Memorial Museum is Clifford Channon, Vice President for Education and Public Programs. Clifford, thank you very much for being here. And so we had a critic on last night who was part of this interfaith group that the museum helped create for feedback on the museum and so on. And Imam has walked off, walked out of the group. He, so outraged is he at the portrayal of Al-Qaeda. He thinks it should be more clear that Al-Qaeda uh, does not speak for Islam. And the critic who was on last night, who was also part of the group, gave similar voice to that. They don't think you've made it clear enough that Al-Qaeda does not speak for all Muslims. Your response? Well, Megan, thank you very much for giving us the time to speak about this. Uh, we have actually worked with the interfaith group for seven or eight years, and this was not the first or second meeting that we had with them. We've had very useful discussions with them about a range of issues. But we know that on 9-11, many things are quite explosive in people's minds, and this is something that we know there are all kinds of sensitivities about. Mm -hmm. We put an exhaustive amount of work with a group of scholars among ourselves going back and forth about the best and fairest way to portray the very complicated story of where Al-Qaeda came from and what motivated them. We believe we came up with language that precisely defines who Al-Qaeda is and what their thinking was, and this is the language we use in the film. One of the things they don't like is the use of the term Islamists. They want, they, they want it to be radical Islamists or Al-Qaeda-inspired terrorism they want in place of jihad. Your thoughts on that? We have used the term Islamist as it is used across news media, across the, the universities, among scholars and government officials. This is a standard term that describes people who are motivated by a belief that all Muslims should be ruled under their version of Islamic law. That specifically applies to Al-Qaeda as a very radical version of the Islamist belief, and we have that very clearly in the film. And how about jihad? Because we had the um, a reverend, Reverend Breyer, uh, on our program last night, and she was saying jihad in the Muslim world is the struggle for self-improvement, and to use it to describe what happened on 9-11 connotes that, uh, uh, an understanding that it is only about holy war. There is, of course, uh, there are, of course, I should say, multiple meanings to jihad, and she's right about the one she uses. But in the context of al-Qaeda, in the context of what happened on September 11th, there's a very clear and specific, highly politicized, extremely violent definition of jihad that guided the actions and thoughts of bin Laden and his associates. This is the film's purpose to explore their actions and thoughts, and this is indeed why we use the term. They want you to change the film, and at a minimum they want you to offer a disclaimer before you air it. Are you going to do either of those things? The film will be shown in the museum as we've developed it. Clifford, thank you for being here. All the best to you, sir. Thank you. Joining me now with more, he's the senior editor uh, of Commentary Magazine. Jonathan, good to see you. And I know I read your piece online, and, and you say in it that you believe that this is really uh, a des about a desire to absolve Islam of any connection to Al-Qaeda. Explain that. Yeah, this, this whole controversy, which harkens back to the one that we had a few years ago about the plans which never came to fruition to build a mosque in the shadow of the, of the footprint of Ground Zero, is about altering the narrative of 9-11 not merely to uh, absolve innocent Muslims who had nothing to do with it from any association from it, but to edit Islam out of the entire 9-11 narrative, to take the unambiguous meaning of an unambiguous event and change it into one that is about that the real meaning of 9-11 is that after a few extremists did something terrible, Americans went on a wave of discrimination against American Muslims. Well, and, and that, that is one of their the contentions. Let me, let me tell the audience. One of the contentions of the objectors on this interfaith group uh, is that if they don't alter this film, uh, this seven-minute documentary film, to, to point out more clearly that al-Qaeda is not the same as Islam, that there's going to be backlash, bigotry, and perhaps violence against Muslims. We've been hearing since 9-11 since that America is in the midst of a backlash against American Muslims as a result of 
This is a myth. This is something that was created out of whole cloth. There's never been any study, not, not any credible study, that showed that there was any wave of discrimination nor any increase in religion-based attacks against Muslims. FBI statistics for every year, I've looked at them every year since, since 2001, have shown that attacks against Muslims, deplorable as they are, are quite few and are in fact a fraction of those against Jews, which it remains the, the largest number of religion-based attacks crimes in this country. So this is all a myth, and yet it's been reinforced by much of the mainstream media, which again buys into this effort to change the narrative of 9-11, and I think it's in part because so many Americans want to go back to September 10th, 2001, mm -hmm. when they don't have to think about the war on the West on the part of Islamist militants and on terrorism. They want to go back to that, and but we can't. And doing so not only doesn't help us understand 9-11, help us defend ourselves ag against an ongoing threat, you know, we, we just commemorated the one year anniversary of the Boston uh, Marathon bombing, homegrown Islamist terrorism. It also doesn't help interfaith relations because good relations between different faiths can't be based on a lie. It's got to be based on the truth and it doesn't help us strengthen moderate Muslims whom we need to help by trying to pretend that Islam was not a part of 9-11. Mm -hmm. And as I pointed out earlier on O'Reilly, uh, the museum does, uh, next to the film, in, that, in the screening room, point out uh, what, what actual you know, Islam is all about, and they, they talk about how some Muslims were also killed and victims on 9-11. So it's, this is not an attempt to sure. bash Muslims, uh, and yet they're still getting pressed. Jonathan, good to see you. Thanks for being on. Thank you for having me on.